Mayday. Mayday, mayday for real. Another loss in a disappointing Raiders season with eight games left. And that's two and seven. You can pretty much say the season is over. How do we even get here? Especially with all the hype this offseason, the nation had expectations as they should and rightfully so. In my opinion, Mark Davis and Raider Nation should blame one man and one man only, and that's head coach Josh McDaniels. He's got to go. What's up, Raider Nation? Make sure to smack that like button and that subscribe button. The road to 2K continues, and that algorithm is very real. So I appreciate the support. So I know anybody who watched my last video is like, didn't you say Josh McDaniels would at least get one more year? I also said barn extreme, extreme circumstances, he would come back. Keyword extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, McDaniels has lost the locker room. In my opinion, that's pretty extreme. You can tell by the Raiders' effort lately in games, players pointing the fingers at each other, including Devontae Adams, who, who recently pretty much admitted that the play, some players haven't bought in fully halfway into the season. The lack of execution in crunch time, specifically the offense, for example, the Raiders in 2021 were 7-2 in one-score games. In 2022, you guessed it, 0-6. I understand if you play enough close games, you're going to lose some games. But 0-6 is 0-6, and, and that's obviously a regression. Now, let's get to the now infamous stat. The Raiders have had three 17-point blown leads in nine games so far this season. To put that in perspective, that's happened five times from 1960 to 2021 in Raiders franchise history. The three blown leads are also tied the 2003 Falcons and the 2020 Chargers for most all time in the season. That's terrible. And and to, in my opinion, you got to lead it. You got to place the blame, most majority of the blame on Josh McDaniels. Uh, the Raiders are losing in historically bad ways led by that head coach. Even Derek Carr is breaking down in press conferences. So we don't have the capacity. <laughs> All jokes aside, Derek Carr is invested in this team and I understand his frustration along with Raider Nation. The Raiders have been a dysfunctional franchise for a long time and it doesn't help that Carr has regressed under Josh McDaniels. Carr's accuracy has been a problem this whole year, all season long. He's averaging his lowest completion percentage since his second year in the league. Carr's yards per game, yards per attempt, pass rating are all down since 2017. And Raider fans, we know what happened that year in 2017. As much blame Carr should get for his struggles, McDaniels, a.k.a. the quarterback guru, has not meshed well with Carr. And the offense as a whole has been a disappointment. Again, the offense is McDaniels calling card. Now, is Mark Davis going to fire McDaniels? It doesn't look like he's even thinking about it based off his public statement supporting Josh McDaniels this season, including one he, one he gave to ESPN stating uh, Rome wasn't built in one day and how the Raiders in a, were in a lot of close one score games. Now, it makes you think the calmness in Mark Davis, McDaniels and Dave Z makes you think that was this all a part of the plan? to tank the season away either way it sucks for fans and even Derek Carr whoever is the scapegoat if McDaniel stay because there will be a scapegoat whether it's Carr the defensive coordinator Patrick Graham whoever uh doesn't get along with this uh new regime but there's still eight games left and a lot can change in that time uh but who knows uh let me know your thoughts down below who's the actual problem on this team is it McDaniel's is it Davis? Is it Carr? Is it Patrick Graham? Or all of the above? Make sure to leave a comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. Till next time, peace. Just win, baby. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it.